Uh, we're still on the breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Uh, we look at the issues surrounding the unveiling of Shatima, Kashima Shatima, uh, the running mate uh, for the APC, uh, running mate to Bola Ahmed Tunubu, right there. Now, on Wednesday, the Christian Association of Nigeria distanced itself from the bishops who went to the presentation of Kashima Shatima, the APC vice presidential nominee, claiming there were desperate people who went there for themselves. The group claimed that uh, even though Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the APC presidential candidate, was free to employ mechanics and other artisans and uh, sue clerical clothes for them, such effort would simply add to their numerous burden and would not eliminate the demand for justice and fairness. We have a guest joining us this morning to help us understand what's really going on, uh, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab. Thank you for having me. Good morning. All right. Uh, Dr. Hayab is uh, the Secretary General of Khan in Kaduna. Am I correct? I'm the Chairman of Khan Kaduna State. Chairman of Khan I'm Kaduna the State. Of Khan. All right. Chairman of Khan yeah. Kaduna State. Thank you so much. But can we quickly get the position uh, of what's going on? Yesterday we saw, uh, you know, there were pictures and also videos that made the rounds. And the reaction came from Nigerians describing them as fake. They were imposters uh, due to one or two reasons. Now we also hear that Khan has said they're not, they don't know them. Uh, what exactly is, uh, you know, the thoughts of can nationally, not at the state level now, if you're uh, preview to that information. The Christian Association of Nigeria is not bothered about who attend what meeting. We are in a democracy and every Nigerian has a freedom of association. But when politicians will go and recruit artisans to disguise themselves or to wear a castle as priest and as bishop is unfortunate. Today we are battling with the story of unknown gunmen in Nigeria. Now we also begin to have unknown bishops. Because if you are a bishop, you must have a, a cathedral. You have an assembly that you are a bishop in charge. We don't know where they are. Even the one of them who happens to speak up couldn't say he's a pastor of any church. He simply says he's the executive uh, director of one Muslim Christian. That cannot be a church. So that does not make him a bishop. I think we are uh, making mockery of all this exercise by desperation. The other time we were told how the same uh, APC presidential candidate uh, was parading a, an old photo of Catholic bishops in Meduguri that they have endorsed Chetima. And the Catholic Bishop Conference came out and refuted it. So what exactly is this desperation all about? Must you impersonate people just because you want to show that you have a wider support? If what you have done is right, then let's test it and see whether people will support you. Well, so what's the position of, you know, can as regards the Muslim-Muslim ticket ahead of the 2023 presidential election? Well, I kind of have said that in a tense country like Nigeria, a divisive country like Nigeria, can advise the, all the political parties to make sure that there is a religious balance and all the sensitivity is taken into consideration. But the APC candidate failed not to do that. And when he came out with his excuse, he said that uh, they were looking for competence. And some of us just asked this question, are you saying that all these Northern Christians, professors, we don't have anybody that's competent, all these Northern politicians, we don't have anyone that is competent? But that's, that's a flimsy excuse, a lame one for that matter. But uh, this whole exercise that now they are now beginning to bring uh, artisan to become bishop, can you do that to another faith in Nigeria and there will be no fire born in elsewhere in this country? Well, I mean, that's a, a, a rhetoric question. <laughs> not, I know that you're not expecting me to answer all of that. Well, thank you so much. We have to go now. We appreciate your thank time. Thank you for having me. Too. Uh, Reverend Joseph Hayeb for being part of the show this morning. 
Thank you for having me. Well, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab is uh, the chairman Khan uh, in Kaduna State, and he's actually just stated the exact situation of things uh, right here for us. We appreciate you. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll be looking at another issue that plagues our country, I mean, the issue of funding for our educational sector. Stay with us.